Good evening, everyone. My name is Annalise Karinsic Benitez. Uh, some of you may know me, but probably many of you don't. Um, I am Mrs. G's elder daughter, and today I am here to read you a story, rather a song that a story is, is based on, that is very near and dear to my heart. Now, the story is very special to me because when I was a little girl, my Nana, or Mrs. G's mom, would sing me this song whenever I was sad. So this uh, story is based on a song by a popular 1960s folk group uh, called Peter, Paul, and Mary, and the song is Puff the Magic Dragon. And so Peter from Peter, Paul, and Mary works with an author, Lenny Lipton, to turn the story into a book which was illustrated by Eric Puiboret. And so today, I will sing to you the, so the story version of my favorite song. Puff the Magic Dragon. And this book was given to me by my Nana on Christmas 2007. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Little Jackie Paper loved that rascal Puff and brought him strings and sealing wax and that other fancy stuff. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Together they would travel on a boat with billowed sail. Jackie kept a lookout perched on Puff's gigantic tail. Noble kings and princes would bow whene'er they came. Pirate ships would lower their flag when Puff roared out his name. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. A dragon lives forever but not so little girls and boys. Painted wings and giant springs make way for other toys. One gray night it happened, Jackie Paper came no more. And Puff that mighty dragon, he seized his fearless roar. His head was bent in sorrow, green scales fell like rain. Puff no longer went to play along the cherry lane without his lifelong friend. Puff could not be braved, so Puff that mighty dragon sadly slipped onto his cave. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. The end. I hoped you enjoyed Puff the Magic Dragon. Sleep tight. <laughs>